Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and I know tons of you have asked what, um, how I set up my IKEA desk, and I got this back in July, so I thought I would just finally show you some of the things I've done with it. Um, I've changed it around so much, and I just got done kind of reorganizing some things because I had to get a new paper trimmer that would cut cardstock, or not cardstock, but chipboard, because my favorite one, the handle broke on it, so... I guess I was just uh, chopping a little too hard. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would just show you my desk. Um, and the pink mat on my desk, that is a Tattered Angels spray mat. Uh, I got that for Christmas. Scott gave me that for Christmas. And I love it. It takes up a nice portion of my desk. I just leave it there permanently, and um, which is you know nice to have. And I don't have to worry about spraying and cleaning up the glass all the time, which I do anyway. So... Um, anyway, let me just show you some of the things on my desk. Um, I'm going to start right here. This little box right here, I got this from Michael's a while ago. And I have my paper tray ink felt in here, and I have some more coming. Um, so that will go in there. And for this right here, these are two IKEA boxes, IKEA storage boxes. And I keep my paper tray ink paper cardstock in here. And what I did was, is I just took a page protector, I'll just show you how it, what I did with that, Oops. a page protector, and op when I open up the packages, I just kind of cut off the side here that goes um, in a binder, and I just stick all of my paper in here, and I usually order the packs that hold 20, or that come with 24, um, when I reorder, I usually, when I start to get low, I order the smaller pack, which is the 12. Um, so, except for, like, my basic colors, which are, like, my blacks and browns and, and stuff like that. I always order the, the bigger ones. Get in there. Okay. And I also, see, I order, order, as soon as I start to get low, I order a full pack of the, my everyday colors, black and, and stuff. So, so that is my paper tray ink storage. And what I like, too, is that I just stick... Um, right in the front of these, my extra pieces. So whenever I'm working with a um, small piece, I just stick it right back inside. It's in the front. I know to look in the front, and I just grab it. Um, and these, like I said, are just the page protectors that you would put in a binder. And I just cut off the, the section that has the little holes in it that you would clip inside the binder. So this right here are... Um, these are actually Copic storage containers. I got these for Christmas. Scott bought me two of them. And then I ordered three more because they were great for holding everything else, like my scissors and inks or glues and, and stuff like that, my little tools. So I ordered these um, from, I want to say it's Studio 3 Solutions. I'll put a link to their site on my, on my blog, but they are great. And they have a little slant, too, to them in the drawers, so the markers just you know kind of slide back. Um, I even have my corner chopper right here and... All of, like I said, all my glues and stuff like that are right there. So, and then on top of it, and oh, pardon those red, those red things are what hold, clamps my camera to my shelf above. Um, but on the top, I just keep, I have my little uh, foam applicator holder there. I forget what that thing is called. So, and then my Tim Holtz stapler, my Gooby Gun for cleaning off my craft, um, my cutting mat when I'm doing videos and stuff. I always get glue on it, so. Um, and that's just my uh, light. Let me turn that off. Um, over in this corner, I have all of my paper tray ink uh, stamp sets. I'm going to need to come up with a better solution for that because I do have some stamps on the way. And it's already filled. But uh, this was just a case, a CD case that my husband had upstairs in our attic. And I asked him if he had an extra one, and he gave it to me. So, And then I have my ATG gun, my paper trimmer. And then, of course, baby wipes. And then on the wall here are just some of my bigger uh, Martha Stewart stamps. And then I have, that's just a uh, Ikea rail. And I just put the basket on it. And in the basket are all my clear blocks for stamping. And then I have my paper towel holder that doesn't actually go with these rails, but it works great. Um, just I just had to bend it a little bit to get it to hang on there. But it works great, and I have paper towels and 
in quick reach because I seem to use them a lot. And then I also stuck my little crocodile on the end. So, so that's my desk. Oh, let me show you this. Um, I recently started buying um, the dies, the fillable frames, paper trainings fillable frames that come with the coordinating dies. So I found. I don't remember whose website it was, it was somebody's blog from Paper Tray Inc. that they made these little pockets to put their dies in and I thought, well that was a really clever idea. I had them in CD cases, they were taking up tons of room. Um, so I just made little cases, or little um, holders for it with some cardstock and then I sewed some transparency film right on the front and it's a pocket big enough to hold my dies. And I just measured my basket here um, and that's how I came up with this. So, so I have all my dies in here. Some of them I still need to make pockets for, and then my larger ones are on the side here. These are the ones that are kind of bigger, so they're on the side. All right, well, I just wanted to show you a quick look of my desk, and because um, I know lots of you have been asking. So, all right, everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye.